So I went and got me one of these uh, Eagle Claw Feather Light spinning rods to match my Eagle Claw Feather Light supply rod. This is a six foot six two piece ultralight. Um, I stuck a Revros, a Daiwa Revros on here. This has probably got 15 or 20 pound braid. It was a reel I had from one of my other rods and I just stuck on here because I thought that yellow looked mighty slick on here. So anyway, it's really windy out here and it sucks ass, but I want to test this thing out on a few casts. I've got this little dark sleeper thing on here. I don't know. I'm going to test it out. I got a couple other things I can throw on here too. I just want to test this rod out. Oh man, it cast up that a mile. This rod is like super floppy. Look at that. Look at that flop, man. It's, this is a medium slow action type thing I think it says on here ultralight spinning lure weight doesn't really say the action but it's pretty cool it's cheap as hell man they're only like like 30 bucks or something and it is a two piece and uh, it seems pretty cool so far I don't know how it's going to handle a fish if I get one We'll see. It's rated from one sixteenth to oh, it's hitting the scum. It's rated from one sixteenth to three eighths. This lure is three eighths, so I'm right at the uh, edge of the limit on this rod. Man, it really loads up, man, being all floppy and shit. Dang on, I got one. Holy shit. Oh, dark sleeper. What do we got? Ah, nice bass. Man, look at this rod bending like crazy. Wow, look at that guy. Holy crap, man. Damn right. Look at that guy. Wow. That was cool as hell. This little dark sleeper is pretty badass. All right. All right. Let's get a measurement on this guy. Uh, let me put this thing down. Where's the numbers? All right. So we got a... We are talking... 14 got a 14 inch bass on the old feather light handled it like a champ so, let's get you back here he goes damn right that's a hell of a nice way to break in a new rod wow the old dark sleeper, man. What the hell is this thing? I gotta get some more of those. That little thing. It's just a little nose-weighted paddle tail thing with a the hook is hidden in the uh, dorsal fin. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it seems like it might be pretty weedless. I think it's a dark sleeper. I think that's what it's called. I'll look it up.
Wow, man, it really, this rod loads up like crazy. I mean, I've been really impressed with these Featherlight rods. That fly rod is fantastic. So far, this thing's fantastic, man. It handled that bass beautifully. So yeah, this thing is uh, it's nicely constructed, man. I, mean, I can't believe they're only 30 bucks or less than 30 bucks. It's got a decent cork. It's got rubberized cork up here. It's got a split grip. Fiberglass, I believe. Rather light. Yeah. I mean, you can see the. It's a moderate, slow action rod. You can see how it's bending. It's not. It's not what you'd call a fast action by any means. So, but that's cool. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I didn't have the camera on. Son of a bitch. We got a 16-inch pickerel here. And there he goes. I'm going to do some more testing of the Eagle Claw Featherlight spinning rod here. Here's the setup. Uh, I've got a little tiny crankbait on here. Man, I hate treble hooks so bad. But, I'm sure I got the guides lined up. Oh, there we go. Come on out this way, buddy. There we go. Oh man, look at that guy. Nice. On that little crankbait. All right, let's get you unhooked. Damn. How do they get. That's why I hate treble hooks, man. These things are just. just terrible. Terrible. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, nice little, nice little fatty there. On the crankbait. Finally. All right. Fish slime for the cork. This rod's getting broken fairly nicely. Here we go. What do we got? What we got here? Oh, crappy hit that thing. Wow. Nice. All right. Man. Crappy on a treble hook, man. That's bad news. Oh, we got you. I think, yeah, we got you. All right, buddy. That was cool. I'm glad I stopped. I'm glad I casted that one. 